Hello. I need, let me get some chapstick on before we do this. Don't turn. So I'm feeling a little bit chapped. Okay. Hello, Leo. How are you doing? So this is going to be a general reading for your coming week, Leo. Keep in mind that this is going to be a collective message for um, all Leos who are receiving this message. So keep in mind not everything may resonate. That's perfectly okay. That's perfectly normal. Just take what does um, and leave what doesn't. Um, if it does resonate though, let me know in the comments below how it resonated with you. I always like to hear feedback, right? And always like, that's how I improve as a reader. Um, also, if you do get find this reading gives you a sense of direction and some clarity, I really would appreciate for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into your reading now, Leo. All right, sorry about that, Leo. I had to take care of something, but I'm just gonna start from the beginning where I have, I already have your rows pulled out and I have your clarifiers for your first row already, Leo. So you have the temperance card and you have the wheel along with the six of swords. So what this was telling me, Leo, is that you're in control of something. It was like, you're kind of aware of something going on in your life. You're aware of like, you have, I feel like you have the ample information um, to make a decision and it's up to you to make a decision. And I don't know if there's like necessarily a bad choice. Maybe we'll get uh, understanding as we go deeper into your reading. Um, I can't really tell which would be the right choice for you. Obviously it's going to be different for everybody, right? But it's like uh, one of your clarifiers is the Eight of Cups. Like you have two different options. You have two different options in that like you make the choice in walking away from this connection with someone. Cause it's, it's almost as if like, something's not aligned with you and this could be like a a behavior that you're doing a job that you're working at this could be a um, person that you're around something in your space is not in alignment with you leo and it's up to you to figure out how you want to address it you have to be the one that handles the situation it's not going to just fix itself right you are in control of this wheel the wheel of fortune you are in control of whether you work things out with this person to help get you guys both on the same page and when it has this card coming forward i don't feel like this is like a negative thing like i don't feel like this like there's malintentions behind this individual even though yeah like it seems like a little sketchy deal going on here like the, the they are all just doing their best in the way that they know how so with that in mind now that you know that they're not trying to go out to get you necessarily or anything like that do you make the choice in working it out with them and celebrating with them and trying to be on the same page with them? Or do you, my cat, I don't know if y'all can hear it. Are you done, Tulip? Or do you, I'm sorry, Leo. Or do you make the decision on walking away from it even if it feels fulfilling right even if there's like no fight that you guys had but you still walk away from it but when you make that choice of walking away you want to be at peace with it right this person's walking away but fully knowing that this is like what's meant to be right this is like you have the temperance card which is kind of telling me as if like you know your options you know what you might need to do what you might need to do um you know what you need to do perhaps it's just a matter of kind of maybe perhaps like the thought of like committing to a decision is scary you're just kind of hoping like if enough time goes by like you don't have to make a decision perhaps but you do have to make a decision because we're looking i'm not looking at your second row for the first time your second row we have the chariot card which is just i feel like yeah you need to make a decision on this like um the chariots under the temperance in that like you need to take action on what it is that's already going on inside you. You need to take action on it and start turning the wheel in your favor. Um, judgment card as well. So it's like, a, you know, maybe this is like a, the card comes in and like holding people accountable. And this could be also you holding yourself accountable into make, taking this action. It's taking this action um, into trying to see where everyone stands perhaps maybe not necessarily where everyone stands but i definitely feel like you need to get on the same page with this person if you're going to work it out with them let's get some clarifiers there's definitely like an energy here that's like i don't know who you're working with leo you're either working with them the like in your work environment family friends 
relationship. There was something going on in your life that you, you guys are just like on two different different radio channels. Like I don't think it's a negative thing at all. I feel like it's just like you guys are just functioning off of different um, places. Yeah, the, I pulled the Temperance card inverted for you again. But this, yeah, this time it was inverted. I feel like this is your person. Yeah, this is this person. And I also pulled the Eight of Swords inverted as well. I feel like this is definitely like your person. Some person like just functioning off in like complete opposite of you, but not intentionally. They're just like, they're either, I don't want to even say they're misguided. I just feel like they're doing the best that they know how to currently and it's up to you uh, do you want to take that leadership role in uh, showing them that way taking that action being the one and being like hey like this is what's up right do you you're the one that take, makes the choice of how this connection will go leo and it's up to you to decide whether this relationship this connection is fulfilling enough to be worth it you get to decide that. You are the judge of that. But I would be bold enough to say if you're wondering it, or if there's like the question of it in the first place, maybe it's not meant to be. Or at least the conversation needs to be had. I feel like just communication in general, Aries, would be invaluable for you right now. But let's go into your third row. I have the Seven of Wands for you. We have the Emperor. And then we have the three of swords. So it's like, yeah, you're, it's almost as if like you really want this person to work with you. Almost like you just want everything. Like I'm keep on getting like you just want things to work out. I mean, naturally, doesn't everybody want things to just work out? It would be the best case scenario. But I feel as if it's like, is it too late? Like I feel like someone. I feel so like I feel like someone's just checked out. And maybe this could be like your person. Maybe they're no longer in alignment with you anymore and they're just chucked out. So maybe this is like a sign for you, Leo, to just walk away from it. Right? That's something too. That's a situation. Like, I feel like this all could be resolved if you just had a conversation completely. You can have this conversation and be like, hey, where do we stand? Do we need to just walk away from each other peacefully, amic amicably? Right? Or do we work this out? Do we get together, reconnect, rekindle our connection, get close again, and work things out? What do y'all both want? But you need to communicate. There needs to be some type of action that happens. Chariot. Yeah. Some type of communication needs to happen. The clarifiers. We have the Ace of Coins, the Empress, and the Two of Cups. This is like a whatever this thing is if it's a person this is like a soul connection person this would be like a soulmate and when i say soulmate doesn't it can be platonic or romantic whatever soulmate's just soulmate if it's not pertaining to a person i feel almost as if it's like you need to decide what it is that you want to do Leo. That's really what it is. Because the Ace of Coins, this is like the universe handing you a blank check. It's up to you to s decide of how much is written on there. You're in control of that. You're in control of that, Leo. Um, two of Cups. Like, this is such a close connection. But it's like, uh, something's holding you back. Like, yeah, and I say this is your person because I pulled the Empress card as well empress card with the emperor like this you, you guys complete each other but it's like but the the thing is you they got the empress card you are the emperor in this situation and the emperor is the one that takes action the emperor is the one that rides on that chariot your person is the empress your person is the not one that's going to take action at least in this situation they may take action in other aspects other facets of their life but in this specific situation they're not going to be the ones to take action they're not going to be the one that sees it unless you turn them around and be like look this is what's happening you are in control of this leo so it's up to you to decide of how you want this connection to pan out i can't make the choice for you the card it doesn't matter how many cards i pull for you leo you, we pulled the Temperance card twice for you. 
You can't avoid this. Judgment day is coming. It sounds so dramatic, right? Let's look at the animal cards. We have the goose card. Goose card keeps, keeps coming up today. Take time to rest and recuperate. So maybe don't make your decision based off of emotion, right? I feel like that more so it just serves as like a reminder for people not to be like, oh, well, I'm going to just walk away from this person because I don't feel like dealing with them. You don't want to base your decision off of that. Um, shark card comes in to trust your instincts and to think it through. What does your gut say? You know, what do you know deep down inside speaks to you? You know, when you take the emotion out of it, when you take the exhaustion and whatever out of it, what do you feel? The mouse card says you're overlooking something. So I feel like, yeah, heavily, you don't want to, Leo, do not react. Um, yeah, like one, just do not react. Um, but do not make a decision based off of emotion. I feel like that's going to be like your biggest heads up for this week. Um, Tasmanian devil purification. Yeah, you really just want to come with this connection because I don't feel like it's bad at all, Leo. You just want to approach this connection with pure thoughts, with just wanting to be on the same page. And whether that same page is just walking away or whether that same page is rekindling and reconnecting, you just want closure. And you want to go approach at it from a place of closure and not a place of accusatory, not a place of frustration or sadness or anger, right? Adjustments are required for a quarter moon. So yeah, like you're not going to be able to just sit there and wait, Leo. Things are not going to just figure themselves out without you taking action on it. You need to be the one to take action on it. Um, believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So maybe for some of you guys, maybe you don't realize the deep connection that this person is to you. Maybe you don't realize this uh, opportunity presented to you, this work opportunity presented to you is actually going to be something that's extremely fulfilling to you. You're not seeing the potential in something. It's very much so like the um, mouse energy where it was telling you that you're overlooking something, Leo. So it's like, are you choosing to overlook it because you're not choosing to believe that it's possible? Are you choosing to overlook it because you're not adjusting yourself and fixing your vision? You're being too rigid, perhaps? In your last card, new moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. So this is just like a good affirm affirming card. I feel like that card is more so speaking on letting you know like the people in your circle and your space are not bad people. So don't function off of the way of needing to defend yourself, I guess. Approach this connection with just as open as you can, as wholesomely, as authentically as you can, with the proper boundaries, right? You don't want to be taken advantage of back card soul journey i feel like this is yeah this is such a this is a deep connection this is a deep there's something deep here there's some depth here so it's worth if you're taking anything from this reading leo i guess what i'm trying to say is it's worth investing in this energy into trying to figure out the situation but yeah, that is the reading that I have for you guys. That is the messages that I have for your coming week, Leo. I hope this was helpful. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Bye.